Hello everyone, quick little video here on Hard Rock Weathered Out Gold versus Placer River Run Gold and what they look like. Here is some Hard Rock Gold from my Blue Chip Mine. Now, you can see on the screen here that this is very jagged and sharp gold. It's really, really fine gold. This is about 100 to 400 mesh gold under a microscope, so very, very fine. And you can see it's really jagged, sharp, and crystallized. Crystalline, they might say. You may ha hear people say that it's crystal gold. Gold does form crystals, but this isn't crystal gold. It's just sharp and jagged because it's in the shape it was naturally in the rock, in the quartz seams, or in the sulfides. And as the quartz breaks down, the sulfides rust and oxidize away, it leaves that jagged gold just sitting on the surface in the exact si same size and shape as it was when it was in the rock. And that's what this, this is here showing, crystallized gold that's been weathered out of rock. This is a piece of wire gold. That's the size and shape that gold was when it was stuck in the quartz. Now this is placer gold. But this is placer gold that came very close from its source. We know where the source of this placer gold is. The hard rock seam is just upriver from this claim. And it's been weathered out, and it's been run in the river a little bit. But this is very coarse and close to the source, so you still see some of the structure left behind. You see some rust stains on a few pieces where the sulfides have rusted away, but you also see the structure itself may be smoothed on the surface a bit, but you can see the rounded surface and then the jaggedness of the piece itself. You can even see a hole right through that one where there were some sulfides that rusted away, leaving that gap in the gold. Left in the river long enough, and these would be hammered down flat into flakes and really smooth. Now here is some Fraser River placer gold. This has been in a river for a long time and traveled a long, long ways from its source. So these flakes are very flat. They've been hammered flat between rocks and they're very polished. All the sand and gravel and everything moving by them has polished them. So gold that has been in the river a long time takes on our smooth, soft, placer look. Some of the pieces are very, very smooth. And right on the screen right now, you can actually see two pieces of platinum as well. Platinum is very similar to gold, the way it works in the river. So that's platinum pieces there. Some placer gold is extremely fine. The gold you see on the screen right now is so fine you can't see it with the naked eye versus those bigger pieces to the bottom left. Now here's a good comparison of the placer on the right versus the hard rock on the left. And you can see that hard rock even still has some quartz rock with the gold. It's jagged, it's sharp, it's crystally, where the placer is smooth, it's soft, it's polished, it's hammered flat. And that's the action of the river doing all of that work to that placer gold versus the other stuff which just rotted out or rusted out of the stone and was left sitting on the surface. I hope that was helpful for you, or at least interesting. And if you'd like to learn more about gold panning, gold mining, treasure hunting, rock collecting, I have hundreds of videos on YouTube. Please go over to YouTube and check out my channel at Dan Herd Prospecting. Also, please remember to follow my page here on Facebook. And until the next one, everyone, bye.